Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman. And today, we are going to be talking about a... R, mateys! I've got a map! <laughs> today, we are going to be talking about this treasure map. Oh. Ah. Sorry, guys. Today, we are going to really be talking about the map of our Earth. The map is one of the most used items on our planet. Before the invention of the GPS, people in boats, carriages, on horse, or any way of travel used the map to get to other places. Even us pirates use this map to find our treasure. Today, we're going to be talking about everything that is on the map. If you look at a map, you will see big chunks of land. These are the Earth's continents. I live in the country United States of America, which is inside the continent North America. There are seven continents, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Also on the map are lines that go left to right and up and down. These lines are called the lines of latitude and longitude. People use these lines to find exactly where they are on Earth. The lines that go left to right are latitude lines. There is one latitude line that is directly in the middle of our planet. This line is called the equator. Everything above the equator is classified as north because it is north of the equator. Everything below the equator is classified as south because it is south of the equator. The lines that go up and down are longitude lines. The line that is on the center of the Earth that goes up and down is called the prime meridian. Everything right of this line is east. And you could guess everything left is west. Wherever you are, a line of latitude and a line of longitude meet. This is called a coordinate. Also on the map is a compass rose which explains the directions of travel. North, east, south, and west. Overall, maps are amazing. There's maps of your city, maps of your street, and maps of our Earth. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.